light is very bright. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Lisa Hale, you can call me Lisa. Um, I am the University English Subject Coordinator. It's a, a funny title, it just means I'm the Programme Manager. <laughs> um, I'm also a Senior Lecturer here at Brooks, so I will be teaching some of you, and also I'm an Academic Advisor, and again, maybe I will be um, your Academic Advisor. So, welcome to Oxford, welcome to Oxford Brooks, and uh, hope you're enjoying this <laughs> rather large room that we've got today for a, for a small group. But it's good that we're in this room because on Friday, every Friday, we have a lecture with all of the other University English students, and this is the room that you will be in. So it's good that you have come to this room today. Okay, so you've got your PowerPoint. Um, it's full of lots of information and perhaps a little bit too much information for today. You've already had a lot of information over the last couple of days, so um, that's why you've got the PowerPoint. Um, and please, if you have any questions, stop me, okay? Because if you wait until the end, maybe you'll forget what the question is, so just raise your hand and, and stop me. So, some key contact people. So, of course, you will have your tutors, but there are three... Hi, take a copy of the PowerPoint here. Here you But there are a few people who are here most of the time, because sometimes your tutors won't be here all of the time. So this is myself. Um, you can find me in the International Centre on the top floor. That's my um, extension number and my uh, email address. Daphne. Um, she's not here today, um, but you'll meet Daphne next week. She's like the deputy, so if I'm not here, you can always see Daphne. Again, we share the same office, you can see. And then obviously Miriam, who you met this morning. Very important person, Miriam. Miriam is like the centre <laughs> of everything. So maybe Miriam can't help you exactly, but she may be able to point you in the direction of somebody who will. So there's Miriam's um, contact details there. Okay, very strange, but we're going to start with when the course finishes, <laughs> because this is the most frequent question. When is the course finishing? When do I get my results? So this is the, the first information that I'm going to give you today. So you will actually finish your classes on Thursday, the 1st of September. Now, actually, you will have um, a class on that day. So perhaps some of you are thinking about uh, going home or maybe going to London or travelling, something like this. Please do not leave before the 1st of September. When will your results be available? Well, we work very, very hard and we quickly, quickly mark all of your work and we will have your results ready on Wednesday the 7th of September. Sorry. Hi, come in. Here you are. Sorry. Oh, three. Wow. <laughs> Here you are. Take a copy. One, two. So we will have your results available on Wednesday the 7th of September in the afternoon. So in the morning we have a big meeting and we discuss your remarks. <coughs> And then your marks are confirmed at this meeting, and then your results are available. Um, you will be able to see your results. Um, I hope that you have been introduced to the PIP, the Personal Information Page. Again, I'll show you that this afternoon, but this is where you will be able to see your results. And me and Daphne will be available in the afternoon on Wednesday and all day Thursday if there are some problems. Most students, just to reassure you in case you start to feel worried, most students pass the course, okay? So don't worry about that. <laughs> but unfortunately, life happens. And there are some students and things happen and they don't get the result that they need. 
So we are here on the 7th and the 8th to discuss options because usually there is another option. Maybe you can stay with us and study a bit more English and start in January or maybe we can find you an IELTS test or a Pearson test. There is usually another option but don't panic about that uh, now. And then um, semester one, so you're all going on to semester one. This will start on Monday the 26th of September, but that's the first teaching day. Actually, before that, we have week zero, which is, again, another induction, but it's for a whole week. Um, and that starts on Monday the 19th of September. So you have two completely free weeks. Okay, two completely free weeks. It's very, very, very important for international students to go to their induction week. Um, you will meet your tutors, you will meet other students, um, you will get lots of information about the course. So it's really important that you do not miss your induction for your postgraduate or undergraduate course. Okay, any questions? Do you think you are the only students here studying English? Yeah. No. We have 62 more students, but they started six weeks ago. Oh, okay. Okay? Because their <coughs> level of English is 1 IELTS, and most of you are only 0.5 IELTS, or you don't need it. You already have an unconditional offer. Hands up if you already have an unconditional offer. Okay, so you come here to experience, get some extra skills, get some extra practice. That's very common. But the other students who you will meet next week, they needed to go one IELTS point, so they came for 12 weeks. All right. So together, we will be about 95 students. Okay. <coughs> 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 Let's do something. Yeah. The week induction start at Monday in. 19. Yes. So, that's it. Yes. Um, and does mean that arriving that day will be fine for us? Um, I would probably recommend that you arrive on the weekend before. Yeah. So you can check into your accommodation. Perfect. Because usually there is something on Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but your uh, faculty will write to you and they will give you your induction timetable. some of your teachers. And then they will tell me what to do. Yeah. Yes, exactly. That's why that week is so important yeah. because some of your courses you have compulsory modules, but other courses you can choose some of your modules. So obviously you need help to choose those modules. Again, this will all happen in week zero. Because I have offered, but I have contact with somebody to get one more assessment maybe. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's what type of assessment is that? Uh, when you complete your IELTS test and you send to here, they have an interview with the student. Ah, which faculty are you going to? What uh, course are you doing? International hospitality. Ah, okay. Yes, you will have to have an interview. So you will need to contact your faculty. Yeah. Okay. If you ask Miriam, she can tell you where to go. You need to contact your faculty, arrange the interview. Okay. But we send your results to your faculty. So they will know, on Wednesday, they will know your results. So then they will give you the unconditional offer, and then you will be able to apply for your new visa. Okay? Again, people panic and they think, it's not enough time, I only have two weeks. It's tight, it's tight, but if you are organised and prepared, you can do it. Next week, we will have... Um, a talk from the international student advisory team. So people who need visas, hands up if you need a new visa. Okay, so next Friday, we will have a talk in here and the visa people will come here to help you, to give you some advice about how you can be ready for the end of semester to get your new visa. Okay. Uh, I'm an undergraduate uh, mm -hmm. hospitality course. Is that the same date that the course will start because I, I assumed it was 2nd of September. 
2nd of September. Yeah. Well, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Can you check your letter? Yeah. Check your letter and, okay. and, and let me know. Yeah. Um, I would be very surprised because normally everything starts at the same time. Yeah. In January, it's different starts and the summer. Yeah. But, but normally, semester one, everybody starts at the okay. same time. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? No. Okay. Mm. All right. So, what are you going to study with us? Okay. Well, you're going to study, this is everybody will be doing the same. Some of you are in level two, some of you are in level three, and some of you are in level four, but you will all study the same subjects. So on Monday, everybody does academic writing. On Tuesday, everybody does academic listening and speaking. Hands up if you're level two. Oh, only two students, three. <laughs> okay, uh, you are going to be studying a language module, okay, and level three and four, hands up, okay, you will be studying a research module. On Thursday, everybody will be studying academic reading, and on Friday, we have the lecture programme. I'll give you some more information about these modules uh, in a minute, okay. For some of you, this will be a completely new experience. For some of you, you've done something like this before. But this will give you experience of the UK education system style, okay? Where you're expected to take a lot of individual responsibility for your learning. For example, you do not have a class from nine to five. You only have a class for four hours. The rest of the time, you will have to organise yourself. Self-study, homework, independent research. So it, you really need to think about taking responsibility for your own learning. The teachers, of course, will guide you and help you, but this may be quite different to what you're used to, where you're used to the teacher giving you everything, and you're in the class from nine until five, and that's it. So a slightly, perhaps, different uh, experience. Okay, so um, I'm going to give everybody their timetables now. So I'm going to stop the camera.